Hi everybody, it's me, Mermaid Christine. I'm a paparazzi independent consultant, and today's video tutorial is a question that I get asked a lot. Um, sometimes it's by um, sisters who are in my team who are like, hey, the last couple months I have been hitting two team members every month who order, but I have five on my team. How do I get three to order so that I can hit director and get double the commission. When you only get one or two team members ordering, you're getting 5% of their orders. But as soon as you hit director, it doubles to 10%. So instead of getting 40 or $50 you know, um, commission check, you get 80 or 100. It's the biggest jump you can make. Um, most of the time though, I get asked this question, from consultants who are not in my team who just found my YouTube video or saw me doing a live and they were like, hey, how do you get your team to order? A lot of my team you know, stopped ordering. What do you do to get them to order? And my number one reply is always lead by example. So by that, what I mean is, is in order to buy jewelry, in order to have that motivation to buy, you have to be selling. If you're not selling jewelry, you have no reason to keep buying. This is a business. We're not just jewelry addicts as much as we are at heart. It is a business and in order to sustain that business, we have to be selling enough in order to make it profitable to keep reinvesting in that business. So how do you lead by example to inspire your team to continue purchasing? You need to keep selling. And if you are succeeding in your sales, they will look up to you and say, this is why I joined the company. I saw her doing this and I wanted a piece of that pie. I wanna be able to make some money too. So if you are cutting down your live sales, if you're not you know, doing album sales or in-home parties and you personally stop selling, many times that becomes the, um, the example that your team will follow. I have had a few really great sellers join my team and I mean, they were killing it. They were sometimes selling as much as me, getting more viewers than me, and then they slow down. Different things happen in their life that cause them to you know, shift from selling paparazzi. And guess what? Their teams dried up. I don't know why, it's like a ripple effect. If you're struggling and you see that your mentor stopped, they're gonna stop too. So you need to kill it. You need to work harder. You need to sell more. You need to succeed because when they see you succeeding, they're gonna wanna succeed too. They're gonna follow your example. One of my biggest weeks ever when I sold 500 pieces in one week, 400 adult pieces, 100 kid pieces, four customers of mine joined my team in like a five day period from a Wednesday to a Sunday. Um, four customers joined my team in one week. It was the biggest, I've, I don't know if I've ever had four, I did have four join in a month, but never in a one week period. And it was because I was smashing it. They saw my sales, they thought this is amazing. You know, you do the math real quick and I was keeping tally in my shopping group. I'm like for every hundred pieces we sell, someone's getting 20 pieces for free. Like I was giving out double hostess rewards to my customers because I earned double hostess rewards on my orders. So anyway, they saw that and they can do the math. They think, hmm, she sold 400 pieces at $5 a piece. That's $2,000. She makes roughly half of that. She made $1,000 this week and she just went live two times and pushed her albums. And they're like, Damn, I gotta get on that, excuse the language. So you need to lead by example, and that's a lot to type up and explain to people. Um, it's something I've only really had a face-to-face -face conversation with or on a phone with a couple of sisters, and I wanted to do this in a live now so that when people ask me, I can shoot them this video. All right, number two. For me personally, one of the best ways that helped me to order and order consistently was getting a text alert reminder from my elite upline. We have a jet setter, that one of the highest levels you can reach within paparazzi, and she does back office stalking every day. Honestly, up until a couple weeks ago, 
I left it up to her. I did not order until I got a text from her. She uses the Remind app. It's free and she can send it to everybody who registers to join and she sends a text new bling run you know hot new release go 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 and as soon as i would get her text i am on that website and i am ordering if she was you know on vacation or for some reason couldn't send a text i forget to order the night will come i'm like oh my god i didn't order today and i'll go and all the hot pieces sold out so as a team leader if you are not on a team where you have an elite leader um, first of all, you need to find that elite leader. Everybody has one. Um, get in their group team. They're probably sending a text alert or something like that. You can get your team to join that alert as well. My entire team has access to join that alert. And in addition to that, I created my own Remind app. And I told the Seasters in my pod, I said, listen, we're really like into seed bead necklaces, lava stone bracelets. Those are what are like those hot, hot sellers, anything with feathers. I said, if I ever see something that's like super hot that I know everyone's gonna go nuts over, I will send my own Remind app and I'll often include a picture saying, this is the hot new piece that just became available. Go, it is gonna sell out fast. That urgency is like the genius behind paparazzi. As much as it can be frustrating when we miss out on our favorite pieces, which by the way, I'm doing a whole other video on how to get those hot pieces. My tips, my top, you know, I think it's five tips I just posted to my pod on how to make sure that you don't miss out on those hot pieces. Um, so you got to get in there right when that alert goes off and the urgency knowing that those hot pieces are going to sell out. It helps, you know, drive your need to get on the website and place that order because you know, if you don't order it, it's gonna be gone, it's gonna be sold out. And every consultant wants those super hot, you know, new releases for their customers. Um, so I have customers come to me sometimes and show me a picture of something that I didn't get my hands on. And it kills me when I say, I'm so sorry, I added it to my cart, I didn't check out fast enough, it flew out of my cart and it's gone. I'll ask my team if anyone in my team got it, and sometimes I can get it for them that way. But you know, we all want those super hot pieces, even though they're all amazing and they're all hot and they are. Check the different categories. There are some super, super hot pieces that I sold out of and I thought were sold out and they're still available under the necklaces or rings category. And then I order again and add those to my next order. So um, hot is a little bit of a relative term, but you know what I mean. There are some pieces that you just know are gonna kill it. And buy bigger volume of those pieces. If your team sees you buying two of the hottest piece and you have five customers who wanted it and you know three of them didn't get it, they're gonna buy lower quantity too. That's the example you're setting. Lately, I've been buying 10 and 20, sometimes 40. I even bought 60 of one piece because I already had like 20 pre-claims for it. It was this, Life of the Party piece. I ordered, I think 60 of these. It was either this one or the other one, That this one. I think this is the one I ordered 60 of. You know, you know when you see pieces like this, they're gonna never go out of style. They're gonna stay, you know, super popular and hot. Get extra, get higher volume. In two weeks, show it again. Somebody who couldn't afford it two weeks ago is gonna be like, thank God you still have that in stock. You will sell it. So order the hot ones in higher volume. All right, number three, and this probably should be number one. It is the biggest thing that I have seen in teams that are thriving and doing well and teams that, you know, kind of, fade and die. And the biggest, I think, thing that is missing in successful teams is team leaders who don't reinvest in their team. Okay, let me break this down. When we recruit someone and get them to join our team, we don't just like trick them into joining our team and then leave them to fend for themselves. So many sponsors do this. My own sponsor did this, okay? I did not quit my business because I didn't have a good sponsor upline support. I found my elite leaders. I found my elite uplines. I have three of them. I bounced ideas off them for you know over a year. I called them crying. You know, I followed their example and I succeeded because I had the drive to do it even though my initial sponsor wasn't there for me. So, um, if your initial sponsor quit her business right after you joined, I get that message a lot. It doesn't mean you have to quit. You have an elite line, find them. But 
when you find that elite line, I promise you, it's probably gonna be someone very, very high up because they know that this is how it works. If you are a leader, follow their example and your team will thrive, they'll succeed and they will order. That's like the side effect. They're only gonna order if they're succeeding and how can they succeed if they don't have a leader who is reinvesting in them? And by that, what I mean is, is every week, at least every month, but every week, you need to be posting a challenge, a tip, an idea on ways that they can sell. And I have a whole list here, it's gonna be my next video, of 15 ways to sell paparazzi. They gotta think outside the box sometimes. They're only trying live sales, getting one or two viewers, and they're discouraged and they quit. That's not the end of the road. You need to show them, you know, there's 14 other ways to sell jewelry. And once they start having that income, they will order again. So reinvesting, let me tell you ways to reinvest because I wrote them all down. I do a lot of it all the time. Um, challenges, so you can say, okay team, I'm trying something new today. I'm trying wall drops. I saw one of my sisters doing this and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. You take the back office stock image. It looks like one's on the hand and one's with a white background, like a model. You post them both side by side. You say, I have one in stock. It's the last one, comment mine to claim. Um, on your wall, in your shopping group, you post these. I have five in stock, whatever you have. And you do both images side by side. And these are called wall drops. You tell your team, I want everyone to try this today. Okay, post a minimum of 10. This is one challenge I did last week. I said, everybody do 10. Everybody who's done this, comment done. And then I want you to comment a reply and let us know how you're doing, how you're selling. Some of my sisters who had never done this before were thrilled. They're like, oh my God, I moved pieces. I haven't moved in months. Um, others were like, I've sold five out of the 10 pieces already. I'm gonna do 10 more tomorrow. This is amazing. So you need to do challenges, but it can't just be do it because I say so. You know what my prize was? Everybody who does this is gonna get an entry at five free pieces from me. So I have lots of inventory. I buy a lot, sometimes I over order. I get a ton of hostess rewards. I'm gonna reinvest some of that back into my team because guess what? Me sending them five pieces when I'm sitting on 1,200 pieces isn't gonna break my bank. But for somebody who maybe only has 40 pieces and they're showing them and showing them and they just don't have the funds to place another order just yet. Maybe times are hard. They're just starting their business. They can't reinvest that much into it. For them to get five new pieces, that's $25 pure profit that they get off that. Maybe that puts some food on their table and they're less stressed and now the next day they can find a different way to try to sell one of these other 14 ways to sell some of the other pieces they have. So it can make a world of difference. Sometimes they might have 500 pieces, but guess what? It made them feel validated and encouraged and supported by you that they got those five free pieces. They didn't have to order anything and when they sell it, that you know is like their bonus. They got that because they tried something new and hopefully the challenges are helping them make money too. So reinvest um, challenges. So let me just go through these real quest, quick. Um, I'm gonna do another live with 15 ways to sell. Those can all be a challenge. And you know the prizes could be back office credit. That's gonna help them buy again. That's gonna help them make another order. I have done $25 back office credit, $50. I did 10 consultants, got $10 each. I've done four consultants, get $25 each. I have done um, PayPal money. Sometimes they don't need more inventory. They might need, you know, a magnifying lens or maybe they want to get a mannequin or they need printer labels. They need to buy ink. They need other supplies to run their business. So you can offer them PayPal money. Um, I've also offered uh, magnifying lenses as a prize to win. Sometimes I'll just send it to a consultant who's new and I see them showing jewelry and they can't really quite get their camera to zoom in on it. It's looking a little blurry. I just will ship it to them as a way to say, hey, I really hope this helps you know make your sales. And they didn't even do a challenge, but they're trying, they're doing the work. You reinvest in your team. So one of the other challenges that I have done a few times that I think is really important is the Popportunity Challenge. This is when your team members go live and or they could pre-record it and they talk about the opportunity that paparazzi provides. Um, you can talk about all of the um, you know perks to joining, you know you pay uh, 
what is it, 55% off. So you pay $275 per piece, 45% off, instead of $5. You know, you make 45% commission, you get a free website, you know, you can go over all those perks. But you can also talk about the opportunities that has provided for your family. You know, um, it's a personal testimony, a papa money on how joining this company has changed your life, benefited your life. Maybe you're able to work at home more, you know, like I said, pay smaller bills. Um, I now pay my kids school lunches. I pay my daughter's tuition. I just signed her up for swim lessons. I'm paying for all these bills that before I always felt like I had to like put that burden on my husband's shoulders and I have my own free money for spending now too. So um, talk about that. Um, tell your team, go live and do a opportunity challenge. Go over all the points and then talk about how it's you know changed your life. Um, Everybody who has done these opportunity challenges, I put them into a, an entry for a giveaway. It could be 10 free pieces of jewelry. It could be a ZI piece. I have done $100 back office credit um, one month for everybody who did a opportunity. So reinvest in your, comp in your team um, to discuss the perks of joining the company, the opportunity. Um, I also do sometimes prizes that are like first place, second place, third place. Um, I randomly draw the numbers from a uh, name generator and I have done um, you know like a free handbag with the jewelry the totes I've done yard sale signs I don't buy it from our back office and then ship it to them that's just paying too much money I will give them the money to buy the you know $30 yard sale signs that say you know bling party this way they're awesome you need it it's one of the ways to sell jewelry is having an in-home party garage sale style etc so what I've done is with the prizes is I'll tell them, here are your three prizes. The grand prize a few weeks ago was these things called bling rolls. And um, they're like these long tubes that you can hang the jewelry in and you roll it up and you can carry it to go to sell on the, goal, on the go. And it holds, I think, 20 pieces of jewelry. Um, I bought three of them and I filled one of them. Maybe the one with 10 pieces, maybe. No, it was 20. Um, anyway, it was like a hundred dollars worth of jewelry and these bling rolls and they had to do, you know, they had to work their business every day of the week. They had to promote their website. They had to do a live sale, like they're scheduled live and every day go live and just do 10 pieces in 10 minutes or, you know, here's 10 rings or here's only gunmetal jewelry. Like they had to work their business every day and there were consultants in my team who I was so proud of. They had higher sales that week than they had a whole month the month before. They did so good. And even if they didn't win the prize, they won because their business took off. They got new shoppers. They got new, you know, um, website orders that they had never had a website order before. So um, that was one of my week-long um, challenges that had a first, second, and third place prize. And as I drew the winners, they got to pick which prize they wanted. Um, and that one didn't require ordering more jewelry, but guess what happened? Because everybody attempted that challenge to win prizes. Um, the next week they had more money in their accounts from selling. It re, you know, ignited that passion to sell paparazzi when you're succeeding. And so the next week my team OV really took off. So you got to reinvest back into your team. Um... I went over that. Show them different ways to sell. That's going to be this one, another live video. Okay, so if they aren't making money, they aren't going to be, you know, ordering. That's just simple logic. All right, so the fifth way to um, get your team to order, it's kind of, um, it's like a long-term investment. If you want a team that's ordering, you have to constantly recruit. So the fifth way is recruit. Not only do you have to keep recruiting, it's not enough to just get three people and think, whoop, whoop, I made director. Now I can, you know, cruise and just sail and, you know, reap all the rewards of growing a team. Mm -mm. Every month you need to keep recruiting, keep recruiting. And it's not just about um, you recruiting. You have to teach and train your team to recruit. Okay, it, you can't put it all on your shoulders. You can't say, I'm gonna recruit a thousand people and that's how I'm gonna build an empire. Um, it is a multi-level marketing um, building foundation, okay? So I, in my lifetime, can only recruit so many people. Let's say it's 100 people. 
um, those hundred people, I'm gonna use real numbers. Let's do real numbers. I have recruited 46 people since I started just over a year and a half ago. My team is at like 132. So I could only recruit 40, but my team has done like three or four times as much as I could ever do in that amount of time. So if my if I'm teaching my team to recruit and I'm teaching them ways to sell and I'm reinvesting in them, then they are going to succeed if I'm, you know, encouraging them to do opportunities where they are then recruiting as well. My team OV is going to go up. I'm going to have more people ordering. You can't just try to get the same few people to order, order more and more and more and think you're going to take off that way. You have to grow a wide team, a wide foundation. And um, what was I going to say? Something about, oh, a recruiting workshop. Okay, so I did this this time last year. It was like last March. I had a couple girls on my team who had one or two people join their team. And I really wanted to see them all hit director. And I promised them that for 30 days, I would post every day a message, a collage, a video that I made, a teaser video, um, a challenge, a giveaway, a game to play. Like one of them was um, a game that you post in your group that says, I would join paparazzi, but finish the sentence and you get a free piece of jewelry. So my customers would play this game because they wanted a chance at free jewelry, but it gave me insight as to why they wouldn't join paparazzi. And some of them were very, you know, straightforward and easy because I like to shop and not sell. Well, maybe the reply could be, did you know that if you joined, you don't have to sell. There's no quota to sell. You can join just to get that starter kit. You get twice as much jewelry as what you would have paid for normally. And you get to now shop at a discount and pay $2.75 a piece. I've had five or maybe six sisters that I've personally recruited who joined just to shop wholesale. Now what's funny is three or four of them went on to sell because they just, they got the bug. You know, a few people bought it from them and it just kind of spiraled and they're like, maybe I'll make a group, maybe I'll make an album sale. And then finally they went live and it's like such an adrenaline rush, they love it now. Some of them still just shop for personal and that's fine, they're allowed to do that. So, um, let me rewind a little bit. So you post games in your shopping group and it gives you an idea of which shop.